Temperatures are expected to reach in the mid 30s today in Rehoboth Beach. But I'm not letting that stop me from jumping in. It's the polar bear plunge and today we're learning a little more about it. Oh yeah, I might be going for a swim. And with hundreds of thousands of differently abled people in the world, doesn't it seem like it's about time ads directed at us truly reflect who we are as a society? I'm really surprised at how much um, excitement has come from it. I've had like people share it like so many times. I, I, on Facebook, I think one site it's got up to half a million likes. Today on Delmarva Life, we'll show you how this two-year-old is breaking beauty barriers. Speaking of beauty, there is definitely beauty in music. The power of lyrics and melody can be profound. Oh Coming up, we show you how the medical community is using music to help this couple communicate. Plus, when you realize your mind may not be allowing you to remember names and faces, you may want to turn to song. See how this chorus is strengthening their memory with music. And scientists are busy trying to come up with a cure or a way to slow down the devastating disease of Alzheimer's. Do you know what the doctors are treating you for? Alzheimer's? No. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know it's Alzheimer's? No, I don't know what you're talking about. We show how close they are. This man is no stranger to fanatic football fans, but today he's not focusing on Sunday's big game. Instead, he's calling attention to a condition now impacting a third of all players. We're going to tell you what it is. You've probably all heard the saying, move it or lose it. Today we show you just how important moving it can be. Staying sharp is especially important as you get older. We're going to show you just how easy a local college is making it for you. These men have to stay sharp at all times. They are Delmarva's division of U.S. Marshals. And our Steve Hammond got to ride along on a raid. See what he has to say about those risking their lives to protect ours. And we are in the Delmarva Life Kitchen with a chef from Suicide Bridge Restaurant making panned oysters. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Delmarva Life from Historic Studio D. Do you like the start dates? I do. Okay, if you do, I used to have a telescope, I gotta get another one. You may still be able to see Comet Lovejoy in the clear night sky. Now this is a picture of it, I'll explain. Comet Lovejoy will look kind of like a hazy green disk. You probably won't see the tail. It made its closest path to the Earth two weeks ago and is now at its closest to the sun. Okay, so if you go outside, find Orion's Belt this evening, look up and to the right. Uh, the comet's going to be fading as it heads back into the outer solar system, but it, it's okay. It's going to come back around again in about 8,000 years, so you can look for it then. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just saying. Okay, going from stars to heroes, you know, there is a group called Operation Homefront. It was founded after 9-11 to help military families. Well, one of the things they've done is the military child of a year award to recognize outstanding youth. Okay. This is really cool. Now, Joel Boyer is one of them. He's from Dover, and here he is helping one of his younger twin brothers fish. The Cesar Rodney High School Junior is one of only 15 nationwide left in the running for the 2015 award. Joel's nomination sent in by his parents, Chaplain Eric and Alice Moyer, or Boyer rather. Right. Um, he didn't know about it until he was told two weeks ago that he'd reached the semi-finalist stage. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow, good luck with that. Look forward to hearing about it. Well, I'm pretty sure that the students in Pocomoke at the high school are still a little giddy over their surprise <laughs> visitor from the, at their school yesterday. Cal Ripken Jr. walked on stage during an assembly. The principal told the students that the assembly was a final push in their social media campaign to bring the former Baltimore Orioles shortstop to the school's 2015 graduation. Uh, Ripken told the students his schedule will not allow him to attend the graduation, but he is impressed with their responsible use of social media. And there was a big uh, social media campaign uh, that I thought was very creative. I couldn't uh, commit to the uh, commencement, but uh, we started to think about it and said, okay, how do we make a school visit? How do we, uh, how do we uh, come down and, and uh, visit and, and show our appreciation? So this uh, day was uh, concocted, uh, it's free on my calendar, so we had a chance to come down. And I always enjoy being in a school environment. That's pretty awesome right there. Students from the journalism class were selected to ask the questions. And he wasn't the only O on the Eastern Shore. The Delmarva Shorebirds kicked off the 2015 season with their 14th annual hot stove banquet last night. And Orioles manager Buck Showalter was the keynote speaker. Showalter has helped turn around a struggling franchise, paving the way for the O's to win the AL East division title this past season. Got some big stuff going on. Oh, yeah. You remember yesterday we were talking about how Delaware's trying 
trying to be the first state to let you carry around a virtual driver's license yeah. on your smartphone. Get this! Great news if you like to smile a lot. A policy change, I know that guy, <laughs> a policy change effective immediately now allows Delaware drivers to smile for their driver's license. There's been an upgrade to the system used by the Delaware DMV to issue their license. Oh, so there you go. Just nice picture. Grin all you want. I, I know folks in Chincoteague have something to smile about. The town of Chincoteague would like to become the next coolest small town in America. The mm -hmm. island community known as the home of the pony pinning swim and auction has been named by Budget Travel Magazine, one of America's top 50 15 coolest small towns for 2015 and you can vote online once a day through February 25th for Shinkatig to be named to the number one spot in the contest. Now for a link uh, to place your vote, go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. I love that bridge. Yeah. I just enjoy that bridge, but sometimes yeah. you don't have a bridge. You yeah. have to take a ferry. While we're talking about the ferry, um, it was in, <laughs> did you like that? I like it was that. in 1990 that David McComber was hired on as an able-bodied seaman on the Cape May Lewis ferry. Take a look here at Port Captain Stan Hansen on the left, congratulating now Captain David McComber Sr. on his promotion. Congratulations, Captain. McComber was promoted to permanent mate in 1996, and he attained the rank of pilot in 2004. I am more of a small boat kind of person. I like things like canoes. Okay. Because if you tip over, you know, it's not as dramatic. But you've probably <laughs> seen images of Native Americans paddling their canoes. But how about a sailing canoe? Here's a crew of shipwrights, apprentices, and volunteers with the three log sailing canoe they started in the fall. Using the lines of a Lambden canoe they have on display, they're creating it from three 26 foot loblolly pine logs. And you can actually watch them working on it at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum as they get ready to launch it in late spring or early summer. Admission to the museum is free on Fridays in February, so go check it out. Mm -hmm. And if you're in your canoe and you don't have a sail, you would row, row, row your boat. Yeah. <laughs> If you enjoy four-part harmonies in barbershop, here's a chance for you to learn more about it. The Bay Country Chorus, the Eastern Chapter of the Barbershop Harmony Society, is having an open house Monday evening. Their repertoire includes songs from The Beatles, Neil Diamond, The Mamas and the Papas, and a whole bunch of old standards such as Nevertheless and Sentinel Journey. They're going to be at the Talbot County Senior Center Monday evening at 7, so go sing with them. Yeah. <laughs> Row, 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 oh, you boat. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. All right, so you know that feeling. You're relaxed. You're just driving along. Then you hit a tunnel. Take a look at these babies and their honest, priceless reactions when they go through a tunnel. Ooh, light. <laughs> That's my reaction when I go through the Bay Bridge Tunnel, when you go under the water. Yes. Yeah. Lights are going. <laughs> Bye. Well, Look I know someone one. who will be saying, ooh, today on Del Marva Life, we find out if our Sean Stryker is willing to take the plunge. It's the middle of winter, it's freezing out, and they want me to jump in the ocean. And even though it's for a great cause, I just don't know if I can do it. Coming up, find out if I take the plunge. Well, it certainly is a great cause, and next we hear the story of one group helping to offer support and advice to families of kids living with Down syndrome. Plus, we hear about something that may help those living with memory loss. Still ahead, we learn about the positive effects of music therapy. Music therapy has also helped one woman remember the love of her life each and every morning. How Jack and Alice could share their love until her last days. Plus, we're in the Del Marva Life kitchen learning to make something you'll love and oysters. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 